talk nerdy to me. But so, moving from Coven to Freak, to Freak Show. Show. Freak Show was just the last season of American Horror Story, and it kind of delves into, as you might think, Carnival Freak Shows. Freak Shows. Yeah, and they were really, really popular back in the day, and we don't really get to see them that much anymore, mostly because we view it as something... Bad. Yeah, it's not appropriate to laugh at somebody for their, you know, deformalities. The only sad thing about that is is when we closed those down, a lot of those people didn't have anywhere to go. So uh, this is also when Freak Show came out, we discovered that the seasons of American Horror Story are actually interconnected because we saw the introduction of Pepper, who was in an asylum. asylum, but we didn't know how she got there. Well, they told us that she had killed a baby. Which, it which explains it in Freak Show, and it's she, a lie. It's a lie. They explain in Freak Show that it was her sister's husband that did it. And they basically wanted to put the blame on her, yeah. so they wouldn't have to be responsible for her anymore. They saw yeah. her as a detriment to them, and I think they had, like, a failing marriage, and there was a whole there bunch of stuff There was a whole bunch it. of stuff. Like, she couldn't get pregnant until she was really late, and so the baby was deformed, and there was also... But... So Freak Show really introduced the fact that there were people interconnected, and the main character, Elsa, who ran the circus and the freak show, um, it was discovered that she used to be a prostitute in uh, Nazi Germany, and one of the Nazis cut off her legs, and that Nazi happens to be Hans Gruber, who happened to be the doctor that was working at the asylum. So the everything was kind of, we were starting to figure out that things were interconnected with each other and we're kind of now looking forward to seeing what else the writers do with it and how they're all interconnected. But Freak Show really gave us an insight to where the freaks went after the freak shows were closed. They either went home and people treated them horribly or they went to asylums. But again, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Freak Show starts us off where we get introduced to all the characters. We have Ma Petite, who is the small woman. Evan's character, the guy with the lobster hands. They had the um, Amazon woman, so they had this really, really tall, strong woman. We had like the lizard girl. We had so many different- The no arm tattooed guy. He was really cool. And then- I'm really bad, we should know all these guys' We names. have the bearded lady who is played by Kathy, Kathy Bates. Bates. We have the strong man who, the strong man and the bearded woman, they uh, were the lobster guys. Because yeah, you found out that the lobster boy and the bearded lady um, are related, that the bearded lady is the mother of the lobster boy. And then the strong man is actually his father, but he has, he comes from a family that that's like in their in their genetic makeup like his brother and his father have lobster hands but he was the one person that didn't and he has like a lot of anger issues and he is married to uh she was the voodoo queen in coven but this time she came back for freak show and the, she is the hermaphrodite the hermaphrodite she has three boobs and apparently a vagina and a penis uh but you find out later in the season by an amazing doctor who actually takes care of the performers in the freak show as if they're normal people and not freaks. Um, he, you know, treats her because she was having issues and so he takes a look and it turns out that she had been pregnant and that she had a miscarriage um, and that she was actually a woman, that she just had the third breast because she had, um, uh, what was it, overactive hormones. Mm -hmm. And she also had a very just enlarged clitoris. Instead of a penis. Instead of a penis. It also introduced another fear that uh, is very prominent in the world, and that's the fear of clowns. And when you think of Freak Show, it's a circus, and there's a clown, and it gives you the story of him. And the Halloween episode also introduced uh, the ending of the clown, but the birth of another clown. Um, he was creepy. Let me take off my mask. <laughs> Here's my gaping hole. No, let's. Oh, okay. so the, the clown and freak show would go around stealing people and perform for them, like lock them up in cages and then perform for them. Because I guess at one point in time he was a legitimate, actual happy clown. You he find was... all this out when he's like dead. So yeah, the clown started out being a legit clown that loved to entertain boys and girls, but the freaks 
got mad because he got more showtime or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so they said that he was a child toucher, basically. And uh, no one wanted to hire a clown that was also a child toucher. So he tried to commit suicide. And he shot. He was, you know. In the mouth, and he went in the mouth, but he leaned more down than and up, I guess. He like and, shot his jaw. And it's a jaw. So now he wears a mask that holds it up, and it's holds gross. A smile. It's a creepy smile. It's very gross. So he <sighs> forgot the basic rule, which is you don't perform on Halloween um, because Edward Modrake. I think I'm pronouncing that correct, will come to claim you for his carnival. Now, he is also a legitimate real person. Go and Google that crap. He was a legit person. He, he had uh, another face on the back of his head and it cried and laughed. And he said that it would whisper to him evil things and then he killed himself. And, yeah because he was tired of the tortured voice. And that was the same story that they had presented in the show, except for on Halloween, if you performed, he would come to claim you to be part of his carnival. And they performed, so he claimed the clown. You kind of felt for the clown, at because that's when you, he's really like a terrifying, horrible person up until you see his backstory, and then you kind of are a little like touched, like, oh, you know, you were kind of just like, when he was around, I was like, man, you're really creepy. And then you get that backstory, right? Mm -hmm. And you're kind of like, oh, well, I can see where you're coming from. And then they kind of put Dandy, the rich kid that's in it. In oh, it, gosh. And he was fucking nuts. He okay. He lost his Psycho. shit. When the, when the clown died, he like took the clown's like mask and stuff like that. And he realized that he could do anything. And he just kind of like went batshit crazy and like started killing people. Yeah. His mom, who just, you know, doted on him hand and foot and ignored all of the flaws mm -hmm. um, like, of oh, her son. D Dandy's just special. He's such a good boy. He's I'm a like, gifted child. Gifted. You're, you're <gasps> gifted in the brain. <laughs> well, he killed his mom. And... Because he was in love with the two-headed chick. There's a two-headed girl. One was really, like, more dominant than the other one. Um, which the uh, two-headed woman did exist. Mm -hmm. She did. Uh, uh, you can go back and look that there's up. There's one that even exists today. Yeah. And of course, there's always the bad guys, and the, they usually change throughout American Horror Story. But the one overall that was the bad guy was there was this man there who was trying to be Elsa, trying to get Elsa to Hollywood, and mm -hmm. really he wasn't doing anything. Um, and his assistant was the same chick that played Madison and Coven. Emma Roberts. Yeah, I don't remember And her she name. was supposed to be kind of like a psychic. Like but she, she wasn't. No, it was just a bunch of people. And so what they were doing is they were um, stealing the freaks and killing them and putting them in a museum for strange oddities for the human mm -hmm. body. And so they, they killed Mom Petit. Mom Petit. Oh, I cried so hard. I cried so hard. The that was strong why. man is an asshole. Yes, the strong man is he an asshole. He smothered her. Yes. Little mop bastard. <gasps> it was really sad, and me was really, there was, there was a lot of really sad deaths. Uh, pretty much by the end of the season, almost everyone everybody died. Everybody died except for the two headed girl and the lobster boy. Yep. Who ran off and got married and had a baby. Yay for happy endings! Uh, but so, again, American Horror Story always touches on really strange things, but in the end, Edward Modric ended up taking... Elsa. Elsa, but she went to her own circus. Where she was always the show... Yeah. The main show. It, it, was, it was all the people for her old circus were there. So now Petit was there... Uh, the Amazon woman. Bearded lady was there with them. Oh, it was beautiful. It was Everybody very, was like, happy. It was one of those endings where you just cry because yeah. you feel good. And it was, it was also, it was a beautiful ending because um, that was the last season for Jessica Lang was Freak Show. In Hotel that's coming up soon, we're not going to have her. Although there's rumors that we might see an appearance of her as Constance because Hotel is supposed to take place during the same time as Murder House. 
But anyway, so yeah, Freak Show ended up ending on a very good note because it was also the ending for Jessica Lange's reign. And uh, now we have in Hotel, okay, the one thing about American Horror Stories, which kind of had a lot of like, not unknowns, like Jessica Lange was a very, very, you know, famous actress. She's been on Broadway, she's done lots of movies. Um, Evan, though, wasn't really, like, he did kick ass, I think, before the show. Yeah, he had, like, a small part. It's basically, like, they took people that had names in Hollywood, but they weren't big names that you would hear all the time. And They're not, I, like, Ben Affleck or, or Michelle you know, Pfeiffer, or who's going to be in this new one. Or I think Lady Gaga, who's Naomi Campbell. And I'm kind of just like, can we not with the big names? There's going to be a lot of big names, so it's going to be interesting to see all the different, um, egos on the set and they're supposed to be doing something kind of like what they did with the murder house where this hotel's been in LA for a long time so lots of different things have happened so it's all the different owners so I guess uh, Michelle Pfeiffer is going to be an owner uh, Lady Gaga is the most recent owner uh, there's all different kinds of things that are going on uh, they're bringing back other actors that they had. So I the guy that played Edward Mardrick is coming back. The guy um, that played Dandy. The guy that played Dandy is coming back. Of course, the all the original cast tattooed is, woman is coming back. Yeah. Um, they're gonna have. Uh, I think her name's Angela Bassett, the woman that played the Voodoo Queen, and she mm -hmm. also played the Hermaphrodite. She's also coming back for. They normally what they do, and, and she might just become a normal part of the cast, which is what I really hope. Uh, sometimes they just usually what they'll do is they'll have someone do a season and then the season after that or they'll have every other season for an actor except for like the main set of cast uh, but it seems like she's been on for the past three so and as is Kathy as Bates. Cassie Bates and so I'm kind of excited to see them just keep with the show like they're really great actresses and I, I can't wait to see what they're bringing it seems like it's a lot more uh, male female uh, even ratio this time though so it'll be interesting to see the different kinds of, although it seems that American Horror Story is all about the women in the dominant position, so it'll probably be more of the owners or the females, and the males are probably like their lovers mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, promising to be lots of blood, lots of terror, oh, everything that you're going to be looking for in American Horror Story this season is probably what we're going to get and more because this show just gets better every, every with every season that goes on. So I'm looking forward to Hotel. Me too, kind of. I'm just skeptical about the cast. That's, that's my only yeah, thing. Yeah, with all the big names. I'm such a skeptic about all of that because, you know, I told you right away, I was like, I'm hearing too many big names. I'm not really excited about this. Yeah, we'll see. I think that's it. I think so too. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed us ranting about American Horror Story, and I hope you guys are all going to tune in to see it. It premieres on FX on, I believe, October, October 7th. 6th or 7th? 7th. 7th? Maybe. The Wednesday after this. So you'll know. Yeah. You'll know. All right, guys. Well, like, comment, subscribe, and... If you got any suggestions for like your favorite American Horror Story season or what was your favorite part about it or just comments to us about like whatever, don't be mean. Uh, comment below and uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.